Before beginning this section, you should understand the difference between fixed and variable pumps. If you need to review the concept, return to the Pumps menu and click on Fixed versus Variable. Variable volume pumps can also be pressure compensated. A pressure compensated piston pump de-strokes or moves to zero output at a predetermined pressure. This is accomplished by hydraulically positioning the pumping chambers to zero output while maintaining compensator pressure at the outlet of the pump. In this example, we have used a pressure compensated piston pump. It is helpful to understand the functionality of a piston pump. If you need to review this, return to the pumps menu and go to the animation for the piston pump. As the pistons rotate around the shaft and follow the angle of the swash plate, they are pumping fluid out the outlet, which provides flow to move a component such as a cylinder. When the cylinder reaches the end of its stroke, pressure rises at the outlet of the pump as the fluid's flow path is blocked. This pressure forces the compensating spool up, allowing the pressurized fluid to energize the destroking piston and push against the swash plate, forcing it to a vertical position. With the swash plate vertical, the pump is now destroked and the pressure at the outlet port is maintained at a constant level. A very slight amount of flow is produced to maintain destroke pressure. This flow is bypassed into the case and carried back to the reservoir through the pump case drain outlet. Of the three types of hydraulic pumps discussed, gear, vane, and axial piston, only the vane and piston may be pressure compensated.